The day of my battle is rapidly approaching. I've been studying the ice maze with the limited materials I've collected. But despite all my sources and even extensive field research, there are so many unsolved pieces in this puzzle. So many tragedies, deaths, eternally tortured souls. I wonder, is the ghost the one causing all of this? Is she the one chaining these souls down in their frozen despair? Perhaps if I can defeat her, they, we, will all be free. With that being said, let's begin our final adventure. Our destination? Day 100. Well, we all know by now I don't sleep through my days, so this will be my final nap. My final day of rest before all the chaos ensues. Day 100, here I come. Okay, but before we get too crazy, let me get some of the simpler tasks done. I really want to fix those trees because I've been regretting the stripped log choice. Oh, and I don't have any logs left. Great. Well, I guess I'll make another trip to the nether. Oh, I also want to replace the lanterns with the soul variants. Eh, but I'll do that after. Let's go back to hell! There goes another water breathing potion. What? What? Invisible thing? What? What in the world did I just get ambushed by? Oh yeah, an invisible hoglin. Thanks, Minecraft. Anyway, let me grab some of that warped wood now. I might as well just run across the lava so I can deforest a new part of the terrain. There's another warped forest across the lava lake. Perfect. I'm here for the warp logs, but honestly... Part of me hopes I stay long enough to find another mushroom gal. I'm still looking for the final nether variants. Oh, hi! Um, excuse me. Keep it down. Freaking noisy neighbors. Oh, hi. Yes, I greet every mushroom gal I see. No, I do not have a problem. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna be needing warped wood for more than just my tiny garden trees. I have a very big plan. You'll see. <laughs> oh shoot, my magma pet's hungry. Why do I have fire resist? Oh no! <laughs> Anvil, no! Oh my gosh! Oh, are you okay? Oh my gosh, that was scary. Oh, I'm sorry. Anvil, oh no! <laughs> oh, so sad. There's a party over here. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Anyway, I'm pretty much done getting wood by now, but I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to explore a bit to see if I can find more mushroom gals. This place looks so cool. Oh look! Another structure! Yes! Look, little baby. <gasps> what is that? Is that a bastion? Oh shoot, that's a big one. Yeah, I'm definitely not taking my chances in there. I just want loot. Uh, no netherite. But I got a flying saddle? Okay, well, I'll take it. So what does this even do? <gasps> oh my god! There is no way this is real. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is awesome. I'm not even gonna go into the bastion. Okay, this is probably the coolest thing I've ever done in Minecraft. Just watch. <laughs> that was awesome! Anyway, I found another structure, this time with diamonds. What the f*** is that? What? What is this? What are you? Kasha! Oh my god. Please don't tell me you're hostile. 
Where'd the cat? Oh my god. No, I don't want to kill you. I'm not killing you. Bye, cat. Oh, What a cute cat. I'm sad that it's hostile. Okay, I'm gonna check this last one and then go back home. Yes! Let's go! Alright, I'm out of here. Oh wait, there's another cat! Don't tell me. No, it's hostile. I'm sad. I don't want to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I would never kill a cat. I'm just gonna get some soul sand. Well, it only attacks me when I move. Uh, okay. Alright, let's go home. Oh, come on. What the heck? <sighs> Glad that's over with. Speaking of which, let's give our new girl some names. The rare crimson girl will be Cherry Cake. Isn't she just adorable? And the warped girl will be Sea Cake. Now everyone has names. Perfect. Here's our family. Well, anyway, I need to get on with my organization here because that nether trip was a lot. Alright, finally, with everything organized, I can fix my trees. I think we can all agree the unstripped logs look so much more magical here. I think I was just too worried about matching the block palette with the rest of the warped wood I was using around my builds. But now that I am being more confident with my creativity, I definitely think this was the right move. This looks so much better. I love it! So now I can continue gathering resources for my build, which is still a secret but I'm gonna need some amethyst for it. Let's get some of these beautiful crystals too. Anyway, that should be enough amethyst for now. Now I'm also gonna need some purple stained glass and a lot of it. So I'm gonna cook all the sand I have left. Okay, there. Alright, so I'm also going to need some hard to come by blocks for my build, but uh, considering how little time I have to go to the end to find them, I'm just going to trade in my diamonds for these blocks. Is it cheating? Yeah, but hey, I want to build something really cool, so whatevs. I'm going to trade 5 diamonds per stack of blocks I spawn in. I might as well give these diamonds to Cheesecake. Here you go. Oh god, what the heck? This guy's trying to steal Cheesecake's diamonds! Jeez, sandstorms these days. Anyway, that encounter distracted me so bad I forgot to give myself the blocks I just traded for. So, uh, let's get some purple dye first. I'm running into a lot of blue here, but no purple. Oh yay, finally some purple! I'm gonna bring these pretty flowers home with me. They'll make a great addition to my garden. Oh god, Wolfless drowned. Why does this keep happening? Why? Oh, I thought Wolfless would respawn, but I guess now we have Baxter. Poor Wolfless, though. Well, a funeral is in order. At least now he has a pretty tree to rest under. I'm sorry I let this happen to you, buddy. Rest in peace, Wiffless. Let's move on. He would want us to keep going after all. Well, I got my purple glass now, and I finally remember to complete my trade. So I go into creative to give myself these pretty shroom lights, which I'll be needing for my build. So I guess I'll finally tell you all what I'm building. I'm gonna build a spirit tree, just like the one I mentioned during 90 Days. It'll be based off the Metkayana spirit tree from Avatar Way of the Water. I'm gonna make the roots come out of this little ravine, then sprout into a beautiful, giant, magical tree. I'm gonna use cobblestone to create a mold for the stem, then cover it up with shroom lights. It'll be a very ambitious challenge for me to try to emulate the spirit tree, but there is genuinely nothing more beautifully fitting for my world than this. I think 
I hope it'll turn out well. The inside of the stem seems to glow, which is why I wanted to use this pretty blue shroom light. Anyway, I need more blocks, so time to trade with Cheesecake again. Let's just say, she's my block supplier here. Now with my supplies restocked, let's continue. Now I'm gonna attempt the stem and roots. This will be interesting because I want the roots to surround the tree in spirals. This is definitely a difficult build, but I'm just so excited. There's the first spiral done. Not bad so far. I'm seriously just winging this by the way. I'm starting to place down some of the branches. Then I can start adding the cool petal looking things. Time to add the petals. Oh man, this is the part I'm most nervous for, but I'm just gonna jump into it. This is definitely gonna take me a bit to figure out. I got this, guys. Trust me. Of course, I decided to start off with a petal at an angle just to make my life 10 times harder. Okay, I'm actually quite happy with how this turned out. Now I just gotta make a bajillion of these! Just cause I built this in shallow waters, this tree will definitely be sticking out of the water partially, but honestly, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. At least you'll know where the reef is from above the water. That's pretty cool, what do you think? So pretty at nighttime, isn't it? Hello? Oh my god! 
This whale decided to check out my progress. I think he likes it. I decided to do some synchronized dancing with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at us. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are so cool. Anyway, let's continue. Time for a quick intermission, because I ran into stained glass, glass, and sand. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier, but using water and basically digging my own pool in here has saved me a ton of inconvenience. Now I can collect sand without turning into Spongebob visiting Sandy's treehouse without a goddamn fishbowl. I decided at this point to take a little break from building to go on a proper adventure. It'll probably be my last opportunity anyway. First I found a rune with a treasure map, but uh, I'm too lazy to find the treasure. There's a good chance I already dug it up anyway. Next I found this rune which had an inventory pet structure for me to loot, and this poor spider who suffocated in the wall! Sorry spider. It's unfathomable how easy it is to find diamonds in this world. Deep sea generation equals OP. You best believe I took all the diamonds. Now I'll do a little bit of trading with the local sea people. And more diamonds. I somehow managed to run into my ocean monument, which you can tell by the giant missing pillars. This fish, I love how cool you look, but you were so hostile to me before. So of course, I challenge him to a rematch. Safe to say, he's no match for my trident. Moving on, more diamonds. Anyway, I went back to the other ocean monument I found because I want to conquer it. This time without having to spawn in the Elder Guardians. Whoops. Oh great, we're gonna have to do this the hard way. It took me forever to navigate this stupid maze. This entire place is a maze. One guardian down. Oh my god, swim! Now I just gotta locate the last two. The second one was much easier. And I got a heart of the sea! Finding the last guardian was the hardest part. I was completely lost. But alas, I found him and slayed him. Well, I did it. I conquered the monument. Now I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Why were there a million guardians there? They must be pissed. I'm getting the hell out of here. Ah, Reef Sweet Reef. Look how many diamonds I got. Holy crap. 
You know, with all the diamonds and music discs I've collected, I might as well make a jukebox and host a little party for my family. All right, everyone, who's ready to dance? Of course, I can't play the actual song because of copyright, but uh, trust me, the music you're hearing right now is much more lively. Well, party's over, but I'm gonna display these discs in my treasure room. There. Okay, I should really put the tons of sand I've been lugging around to smelt. Well, time to resume my spirit tree build. I gotta get this done before at least day 98 so I have time to prepare for my fight. I can't believe I'm actually gonna fight the ghost of Captain Cornelia. Safe to say I'm terrified. By now I should have quite a bit of glass melted. Back to work. Oh, by the way, someone left a comment saying I could bone meal my moss to spread it rather than place it manually. Here's to confirm, no I can't. Sad face. But speaking of bone meal, I can bone meal my tree! Oh hell yes, this is awesome! Now it looks a lot more connected to the coral reef. I also added some glow lichen, even though for some reason some of it wasn't glowing. At this point, I'm pretty much almost done with my tree. I'm just going to tidy up the stem a bit with the extra shroom lights I have. The tree is complete! I love it! I just got an idea. I'm going to add some pillars around the reef for some extra decoration. Something like this. They don't have much purpose, but perhaps the energy within the prismarine and shroom lights help protect the reef and keep the tree alive. Yeah! Alright, I think I'm done with that. Well, I continue to add a few minor improvements to the place. Like the seagrass on the sheep bottle. It helps the bottle blend into the environment better. Next, I decided to cover up this ugly stone wall with some warped blocks. This was super tedious though thanks to all the sand. I can make use of my shroom lights here to create a little pattern on the wall. Oh wow, that is so pretty. The shroom lights are magical in the nighttime. Well, I might as well add some more here. It's simple, but I love it. I've been meaning to add something to these amethyst walls. Well, now I know what to do. Wow, that is so awesome! I seriously love it! I really need to add something to this room too. We can't get to 100 days without a finished, fully decorated castle. Now I think I'll just make a little staircase path here so we can reach the sacred garden easier. Of course, I'm gonna add some shroom lights here too! Now this pathway is perfect. Okay, hear me out. 
I know I wasn't going to make any more abyssal armor, but I already have the netherite and a few days to spare. I mean, come on, exactly two netherite. I can totally get some Echo of the Ship graveyards. The only thing is I would love to get looting three on my diamond sword. That would actually be a great help. I'm going to make an extra one just so I don't lose my looting too. Alright, let's hope for the best. Nope. Nope, but sharpness is good. I can combine that in an anvil, so I'll keep that and make a new sword to test my luck. Oh yes! And I can combine those two swords. Wait, I don't have an anvil? Seriously? <sighs> well, there goes my iron. Oh hell yes, this sword is incredible now. And it's nighttime. Perfect. Let's go get some echoes. Oh come on! The sun is already rising by the time I arrive to the ice maze. Great. This was the only tortured soul I found, and of course, no echoes. Damn it! What do I do now? I came here for nothing! Well, I decided to just explore a bit and then come back to the ice maze when it's nighttime. Also, uh, maybe I can find a little companion here. They're supposed to be- Oh! Yes! Pretty Magicora is here! Let's see if I can tame her. I'm gonna need more glowberries than that. Yay! She's tamed! Hey! Stay away from my friends! No! Anyway, I'm gonna continue to look around the place. Did I mention I completely forgot to bring water breathing potions? Would you look at that? There's a rainbow forest here, or of the official name, a rural garden. Beautiful place. Check out my MLG water bucket skills. Oh, I'm just gonna stop by to grab some iron, cause making that anvil earlier really put a dent in my wallet. Yeah, I ain't touching that. Oh my gosh, wow, this is so beautiful! Now you can really see all the rainbow in this forest. I actually had to stop and admire this all, with my new little friend to take it all in with me. By the way, I should name her something. Hmm, Mossy Cake, since she was born in moss. Anyway, let's keep going. Well, I found my way back to the ice maze. Sun's still up though. Hmm, some books. Ooh, it's so cool under here. Oh look, let's see what inventory pet I can get. Oh, another anvil! Ooh, there's a cave! And of course I see some diamonds. I hear mossy cake. Um, did she teleport into an air cave? Oh no. Where could she be? Oh god, no! I thought there was water in here, not air! What the hell is that? Oh, Mossy Cake, no! Run! Okay, okay, relax. We're good. Holy mother of god, what is this thing? Kill it! Kill it! I am leaving now. Please tell me Mossy Cake will teleport up here. Oh, thank goodness. You're safe. That was terrifying. I am never going into an air cave again! Finally, the sun is setting at least. I really hope I can get enough echoes tonight. The hunt begins. Let's see how long this takes. Ah! Oh my god! <gasps> Holy crap! What the hell? Oh my god, that jump scared me so bad. 
I thought it was a mother of the maze coming to eat me. Anyway, it's a good thing Mossy Cake is here because she gives me strength too. Oh yes! He dropped an echo! Okay, the hunt is officially over. Oh wait, I got four! Damn! That's one Abyssal Shard! Alright, let's go home. Well, I lost Mossy Cake since she can't teleport in the water, but don't worry. There's an invention for that. The Wayward Lantern, which teleports all your stranded pets to it. We just sit and wait. Yay! Mossy Cake, you're home! By the way, a viewer said I need to bring Cheesecake inside because she's so lonely up here. And you're right. She's part of this family too. Yay! Everyone's here now. The ocean family only grows. Anyway, it's day 98, which means it's time to prep. I'll have to go back to get the remaining echoes at night, but I'll gear up in the meantime. I think I should make some potions to take with me. Strength, health, stuff like that. I'll start by brewing up some strength. There, splash strength too. I organize my potions and my backpack. I'm gonna cook some fish and chop up some guardian. This is fun, because I suck at chopping stuff in real life, even though I cook. To the furnace you go. Alright, it's night time, so let's go hunting. My ocelot pet will help me see. Wow, the broken ice froze over. Dang. Holy crap, that's a lot of pillagers. Yes! Oh, that's four! My gosh. Okay, let's go home. Now. Getting looting three definitely helped because that was the fastest four echoes I've ever gotten. Yes! I got the boots! Hooray! Oh god, my armor desperately needs some repairing though. Thanks, Anvil Pet. You know what? I don't even need this terrible chestplate anymore. I can probably just make a netherite chestplate. I should have one more netherite. Literally, how perfect is that? Okay, let's enchant this new chestplate. Now I can combine it with my old one to make an even better one. And then make another right. Yes! Oh, awesome! You can actually see my skin a bit better with this one. I love that. Oh boy, it's day 99. Okay, so I also need to make a grave pet in case I die in the boss fight, so I don't, you know, lose all my stuff. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, I got totally distracted while I smelted all that stone for the recipe, so now let's go collect my crops. I want to make some delicious food. Ew, rotten tomato. Now I have 25 barbecue on a stick. Oh man, that sounds so good. Oh right, the grave pet. There we go. One more thing I definitely want to make is some health potions. Which means I can make use of all the melons I've been collecting. There we go. Splash potion, healing too. Hmm, I think I can also bring my wolf pet with me. Although it spawns different wolves each time. Interesting. I think I'm gonna take Cheesecake with me too. She can help me fight. I knew I saw another Gorgagora out in the fields where I befriended Cheesecakes, so I'm gonna see if she's still there. I see her! Gorgagora, you're being recruited in my army. Ants! 
Anyway, I kept looking around to see if I could find any more to tame. Instead, I found an ink cap mushroom gal. Oh crap, Phantom's coming to ruin the moment. Damn it. These idiots are just taunting me. Screw off. Also, of course I put my rotten flesh away after organizing my backpack. So now I can't take the ink cap girl. Dang it! Also, I found a brewing stand pet in this tree, but it doesn't matter. I need zombies! What the? I just killed a child. I'm sorry. I didn't even use my looting three sword while killing zombies, so of course I got no flesh. I'm an idiot. At least I could tame this Mandragora. I think I have a pet hoarding problem. It's an emu. What do you want? Counter an emu. <laughs> Exercise caution. Oh yay! What do you want from me? He's following me. Please. No! This emu has befriended me. <laughs> Um, anyway, the sun is rising, so let's go home. I need to go to the ice maze very soon. It's almost day 100. I honestly can't believe it. Day 100! Yay! I am not tired, achievement. I am not tired at all. I am super nervous, actually. <laughs> no, it's true. I'm terrified to fight Captain Cornelia. Anyway, let's bring my new friends inside. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Gorgigoras with me using the Wayward Lantern. All that's left to do is clear up my inventory, then I'll be ready to go! Alright guys, to the ice maze we go! There it is! I'm here! I made it! Well, let's set up everyone. Oh god! Oh no! That's bad. <laughs> I guess everyone's here to cheer me on. <laughs> well, uh, that's dangerous. I'm just gonna leave them over here for now. All right, got my horn, my potions, my pets. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm scared as hell, so I'm just gonna eat my golden apple. Um, nothing happened? What the? Okay, um, this is bad. The sun is gonna set any second now. Crap, crap, crap. Then, finally... Okay, it's time! Let's do this! It all happened so fast, and before I knew it, the ghost was dead. I actually did that, and I took her down fast. I guess I overprepared just a little bit. Well, anyway, I still need to visit one more place. The shelter. Once more. I got the frozen key, and I'm dying to know what's inside that locked chest. So I make my way through the frozen waters to try to find this chest. Ooh, oh my god, wow! I need to grab all the stuff quick before I freeze to death. 
intend to make my escape and never return. And finally, I'm home. Now I just gotta make sure my girls come home too. Please come home, girls. Oh no, some of them spawned in the water. Please teleport in here. My Mandragora doesn't want to come inside. She's taking a swim. I guess that's okay. She's fine up there. I got this Rune of the Storm, which I bound to my terrible sword. Awesome! And I got the Astral Dust, which if I had the other materials, I could make into an Abyssal Chestplate. But I guess I'll just keep this as a trophy, as I won't be needing the Chestplate anymore. I also got some treasure. Not very good treasure, though. Well, we did it! We defeated the ghost of Captain Cornelia, and I'm sure now the spirits of the Ice Maze can finally be at rest. It's all thanks to my warrior pumpkins and my girls cheering me on. And of course, thanks to all of you for supporting this series every step of the way and making it possible for me to get to the finish line. Day 100. We made a truly beautiful world together. We went on adventures, on quests, we farmed, we built, we hunted, we killed. We seafared, we protected, we befriended, we survived 100 days as a mermaid. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the full 100 days movie, of course. Alright, until next time, bye!